Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to use the for loop node. Let's get started. So the for loop node has three inputs and three outputs. The first input is the execution pin. Then we have the first index and the last index. Now these two are integers. Now for the outputs, you have two execution pins and one index pin. The first execution pin will loop. Then we have the index, which is the current index that it's looping at. And the completed pin will fire when the loop is completed. So here I have an example. When I press A on my keyboard, it will run the loop. And then it will loop print string and it will print the index that it's currently looping. Now here we have the first index and last index. Now this will loop the difference between the first index and the last index. So if the first index was 10 and the last index is 20, then it will loop 10 times. And the output of the index value here would be 10 to 20. Now this is important because if the first index value is greater than last index, it will not loop. So this for loop has zero based counting. So if you're not familiar with it, it means that if you want to loop this 10 times, you wouldn't put 10 in the last index, instead you'll put 9. So for this example, we will loop this for 10 times, and it would print 0 to 9. So we're going to press play. When I press A, you can see in the corner 0 to 9. Now for the completed pin, we're going to drag out, we're going to print a string as well. We're going to type uh, completed. And when I play and press A, you can see 0 to 9 and then completed. But now if you want to have a different value other than 0 to 9, but still loop 10 times, then you could, uh, from here you would type 10 and then you can type 20. So if we play this, that would loop 10 to 20. And you can do, uh, you can add whatever values here, but the first index should be smaller than the last index. So that's how you use the for loop node. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. And if you have any suggestions on what future tutorials I should make, please comment as well. Feel free to check out my Patreon page in the link below. Don't forget to like, share, and most of all, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.